Behind the them, brother. They bring you a guy, he have a nice voice. This guy, whatever he say, is going to sound nice. This way you will not find in any tourist area, like in Turkey or etc. You will find always they choose the best voice to recite the Quran. But the Quran inside, as you see, is the most stupid book. And because you don't understand, so you don't see the stupidity, you see the voice. How many people they enjoy, sadly, a singer singing the F word? Hmm? And they dance with it. They have a nice voice, but he's using the SH word, the F word, the butt word, whatever word. Still, they are, they are happy with it, they love it. If you can explain chapter 2, verse number 79. Okay, my friend, we will go back there. No worry, I will go there, I promise you. So, listen carefully, people. They admit that the Quran is a messed up book. Has no logic. When you open the Torah, you find the book of Genesis. We know exactly what the book of Genesis is speaking about. Every book have a topic. Every book have an historic order. They can quote something from the previous book. That can happen. But the story is there, not in the quotation. Quotation is a quotation. The Quran is the most silly, stupid book. What this guy trying to say to you, if you read the Quran, you cannot understand anything. It's very confusing. It doesn't make any sense. But they, they are praising it, you know? They are praising it. And what he confirmed to us, actually, that the Muslims, they wrote the book by their hand. And this is why our brother there, he's keep asking me to read the chapter 2, verse number 79, where it says, we to those who write the scripture with their own hands. But this is Muslims who did that. If we ask the Muslims, did Allah he send you a book written by his hand? They will say no. Do you have a book written even by the hand of Muhammad? They will say no. Do you have even a book written by the hand of Uthman? They will say no. So who wrote the book you have? When the Quran say clearly in chapter 2, verse number 79, there's a curse, there's a penalty, there's a punishment over those who write the book by their own hands. Let us find the verse. Read carefully. Then a we to those who write the book with their own hands. And then they say, this is from Allah. <laughs> made to expose Muhammadan perfectly made to expose the situation of the Quran do we have any Muslim want to say anything it is you Muslim who wrote the book it is your Muslims who messed up the book. It is your Muslims who took verses, add verses as you wish. Actually, I can show you reference where Aisha, she said, 
that the chapter of Al-Baqarah, the same chapter he's talking about, this guy in the video, the chapter of the cow, Baqarah means cow, and the reason it's called cow, because Muhammad, he came with a story, a very stupid story, that there is a guy, he was killed, and then the Jews, they came to Moses, and he said to him, we don't know who killed him, so they want to find the killer. Allah told Moses, go and get some beef. Some they say a tail of a cow or ox or a penis or some part of the cow. And beat the guy with it. And this can be found in the same chapter, actually. If you go just a few verses before, verse number 73. And the verse says it clearly that this is how Allah he raised people from death. <laughs> How Allah he raised people from death? Muslims, I'm not the one who's saying so. It's your book. It says, and this is how Allah he raised people from death. Thus, read carefully. And thus Allah bring the dead to life. How? By the cow beating. I mean, if I am a Hindu, I will convert to Islam immediately. Well, but you might be upset because you're a Hindu, they are killing the cow. Okay, I think that's not a good idea. This is how God, he bring people from death, bring some beef and beat the guy with it. My friend, the one who is inviting me to join uh, whatever team you call them, how come the team don't dare to call me? They are the potato, the tiny, the little, little. They, they have to call the big guy. I'm here. Here we go. How come you are saying to me if you are sincere, but you don't ask them the question, if you are sincere to call yourself team, here we go, the guy, he go every day, he open his pal talk, he say he want to call me. You see how, how double standard you are? What do you want someone like me to go chase kids? Call me, get your scholars. Get me busted. If you are sincere. Stop spam spamming the text. You know, they are they are silly, stupid people. If you are sincere. I'm reading your Quran. And if you believe I'm sincere or not, I just prove that you are not sincere. Because if you Muslims are sincere, you will not corrupt your book. If you Muslims are not are sincere, you will not change the location of the verses. If you are sincere, you will not do what Allah forbid you from doing. You change, you write the Quran by your own hands. Did Allah allow you to write the Quran by your hands? Did he? So who care if you Muhammadan think I am sincere or not? For sure you will not accept what I am saying. But we are laughing and people leave Islam left and right. And let me block you because you keep spending, you know, it's just a stupid kid. If you are sincere, call us. Here we go, I am here, call me. <laughs> you know what? I will open just pal talk for you and for your team. Immediately. Let us see who is a sincere. I am the one who challenged you for years and years, and you potatoes don't dare to call me. Let us see who is sincere. The sincere is the one who says, okay, I'm going to call him. I am the one who make Muslims leave Islam. I don't care really what you say in your program about me. Prove me wrong, call me. Here we go. My pal talk is open. Who is a Muslim who is sincere to call me? Any sincere Muslim? 
or you are a chat hero. Nobody texting. I'm waiting. My sorry, not Skype. My pal talk is open. If any Mohammedan would like to call me, here we go. This is my pal talk. Let me show you the screen. It says a Christian Prince online. What do you want more? Call me, it will appear live on air and people will see it. Text me. Let us see the heroes. Let us see the sincere Muslims who they are willing to defend their religion. You are terrified. You speak about me in my back and you claim to be a hero. So when the Quran condemn those who write the book in their hand, but hold on, isn't it the Quran says that Allah is the one going to collect the Quran? Did he? Let's read together. <clears throat> All right. Read carefully. Chapter 75, verse number 17. Allah, he promise and he make it clear that it is him who will collect the Quran. Inna alayna jam'uhu wa Qur'anahu. It is on us, us who, and the funny here, the Muslims, they say we believe in monotheism, right? But Allah is always us. He's always us. You ask the Muslim why he's us, they say, oh, because he is, like, this is majestic. So are you saying to me that your Allah, he don't feel enough respect to himself if he is one? <laughs> so he decided to call himself us? Hey, Mr. Us, how are you doing? Do you feel better now? I'm calling you us. Allah is us. Allah don't feel he is respected enough if he is not calling himself us. Do you see it? How you say to us, we Muslim, we believe in monotheism, and your God is obsessed with us. It is us, it is we. What is wrong with you? When the Muslim, they say, Allah, he used us as a majestic king. Well, hold on. That means it's suitable for Allah to be more than one. Not to be one, because he is jealous from a king saying we. Allah is not self-confident. He don't think that he is, is okay if he say uh, uh, me. No, it's we. It's us. What an idiot. So, if you want to talk to a Muslim, call him Mr. Allah is us, how are you doing? How is your God us doing? Uh, uh, can I talk to Allah? Us, we hear you. Who is talking? Oh, Mr. Us, how are you? Uh, <clears throat> uh, my name is Allah. Uh, but you just said us, hear you. Yes, because it's not suitable for me to say me. Oh, so like, us, me, Allah. The thing stupid. Speak to me with respect. I am Allah. Okay, I'm confused now. Are you Allah or us? You put us if you don't say the word Allah. Okay, I'm not going to say the word Allah. So, Mr. Us, how are you doing? What's wrong with you? Don't use it this way. Okay, I'm confused. You said if I don't use the word Allah, I can use the word us. Exactly. Okay, and I just call you us. Yes, you did. So why are you upset? Because I can't call myself us. You don't call me us. But what? What? Hello? D did you hang up on me, us? Hey, Mr. Us, are you there? 
Mr. Mr. Us? I think us he lost his connection. What's wrong with this religion? And even even Mr. Us in different verse in the Quran, if you remember, he go and he say if Allah he decide to have a partner. He will take this partner from us. Like, what the heck? So Allah is one, and now Allah will take a partner. And that partner is us. Is that a fake us or real us? Because remember, he's talking about having a partner, which is a wife. So Allah is it like his two gender in the same time, like he is... Or maybe he's like Shaitan, you know? Anyone know the story of Shaitan according to Muhammad? Who knows what the story of Shaitan? There's a verse in the Quran, look like Allah and Shaitan is the same. They are like they have two gender in the same time, maybe. Because if Allah is one, and then he will have sex with a woman, or a creature have a private part of female, whatever it is. And then he says, if we want to have sex, if you want to get married, if you want to have a, a girlfriend, uh, we are going to have it with someone from us. From us. Okay, us who? I thought you are one. I thought us is just a word of majestic. Mr. Us? The logic of Muhammadan. Allah is one, but he is us. And he want to have sex with us. There's a verse in the Quran. Speaking about shaitan, he have a children. And the Muslim, they try to find a serious 